Hello, welcome back. Today we are looking at my four jaw chuck. Now this was purchased many, many years ago. I think just a year or two after I got my lathe from Chester. Um, it's a UK hobby and industrial tool supplier. Um, and it, it's very Chinese, basically. Um, it's functional, but not uh, slick in its operation. Up until relatively recently, I hardly used this chuck. But recently, um, having watched lots of YouTube and made some videos and stuff, I'm doing slightly more ambitious things. Um, and the more I use it, the more I realise it's in desperate need of, well, at least a clean, if not a little bit of finishing, for want of a better word. All right, first off, let's take a look at these um, screws. These are the ones that go in the side of the chuck that move the jaws in and out. Because it's a four jaw, each one's independent, so they've got their own ones. As you can see... The threads are by no means consistent. Um, you know, that one is clearly thicker than this one. Um, and this might go some way to explaining why some of the jaws are stiff and others are not so stiff. So I'm using paraffin to clean everything here, um, mainly just because that's what's lying around. I mean, obviously you can use WD or uh, some people like to use uh, petrol or diesel things like that I've just got paraffin so I'm going to use it um, I'm using a toothbrush um, excellent sort of tool for this kind of thing and they're basically free Okay, so having cleaned up all of that lot, basically getting all the grease off and all the bits of swarf and probably casting grit and, and sand and so on, um, I'm now going to dry everything off with uh, just an old bit of sheet and then have a bit of an inspect to see where we've got burrs and things. Okay, so all the bits have been thoroughly cleaned, uh, dried, blown off with the airline. Um, there's probably still bits of grot in there, but um, what I notice is that all the surfaces are sharp at the edges, there's burrs everywhere, most most of it is rough, um, obviously the ground bits on the outside are smooth, um, but I mean round all these holes it's really sharp, uh, nothing's been nicely deburred, I mean they might have taken off the big bits but um, my main concern is still around these screws but that may not be an issue, it depends on the engagement really with these, you know if there's sufficient clearance it might be that it doesn't actually matter um, as long as they're smooth. Okay, so I'm going to use a needle file. This is a diamond needle file. Um, I don't really want to remove much material. I just want to smooth off any high spots and sharp bits. So that feels better already. I'm just going to have to do this all the way round. going to need another wash <laughs> once I've finished in here at least I've got the worst of it out I'll put the um, paraffin through a coffee filter to take out all the bits of metal and grit and so on and then we can use it again Right, that looks like it's going to take a while, so I'm going to go make some dinner. Um, yeah, if ever you come around my house, don't ask for filter coffee. This is what's left in the bottom of the ice cream tub. Try and get to focus on that. 
Um, the blue bits are, I think, off the toothbrush, but the rest of it is very much um, metal debris. Yeah, there we are. That is all um, bits of bits of chuck, I should think. It's so fine, I don't think it's stuff that I've machined. It's more, it's almost like the grinding dust is still left in there. Which, you know, being a Chinese tool, it's not a surprise. Right, while the um, paraffin's percolating through that, I need to take a look at some of these bits. jaws are stiff. I can't actually slide them easily. Okay, so now I've got four jaws that run nice and smoothly in the um, in the channels. I did have to sort of rub them in a bit. Um, I used some WD-40 and um, just whatever grit was sort of in there um, and just ran the jaws backwards and forwards quite a few times until it until it felt a lot smoother it didn't actually need that much um, so I did it both by pushing down to grind the top surface and by sort of pulling up and to grind the underneath surface of because basically this is this is where it bears bears on so I'll just bring the jaw up so there the top and the bottom of that um, bit there of the, the bearing surfaces basically um, and I'm just making sure that they're nice and smooth and they are so what I'm going to do now is just give it a final clean off so back into the paraffin um, you know rinse it down basically uh, blow it off and then we'll do reassembly Right, well at the beginning of this video I thought this might be rubbish, basically. Um, and like I said, quite a lot of Chinese tools are unfinished at best or badly made at worst. This is somewhere in between, but I th it's sort of on the unfinished end. Um, I think the work that I've done wasn't too much effort. Um, it's a couple of evenings sort of fettling. It's quite cathartic really, cleaning something up um, and rebuilding it. I quite enjoy doing that from time to time. Uh, and the difference between how it feels just to wind the jaws in and out is night and day. So I'm hoping when I put this to use next time, um, it'll be, it really will be worth the effort. But so far, seems like it was. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.